Hey guys, so it's time here to do a quick little video here and I do have uh, the S5 mini and the iPhone 5s So both are phones here with the fingerprint sensor. I think also they cost about the same Maybe the iPhone 5s a little bit more, but this one has I was 8.3 I think it's the first beta and there's like a beta 2 out now and uh, Then we do have the S5 mini here with Sanuji mode 12 Android 5.0.2 alpha build so it's gonna be fun here to see how they Compare here, let's go. As you can see, the Senior Jumbo 12 there. I'm pretty sure it's like an unofficial build. Oh. Almost the same, which is pretty fun. Uh, but the S5 Mini there wins by a little bit. Uh, let's go in here, you can see settings. Um, I was 8.3, there we go. And we do have uh, this brand new software here, which is Android 5.1.2. Android 5.1 is also out at the moment, which I've been doing some quick videos on, uh, but um, it's a little bit faster here. Uh, we do have some problems with this Synergy Mod 12 build here, which is like this, this button doesn't work. Uh, if you wanna multitask, you have to hold in here. You can kind of see here how they look uh, different in terms of multitasking as well. Let's open up a few more apps here, like the dialer, the app store. And it has some lag here, for example, which could definitely be annoying. Uh, let's go into multitasking. You can see the differences. And I gotta say, this button here to close everything down is very, very nice on Android. You just gotta continue to swipe. Uh, but yeah, I might do some more videos, but pretty fun here. How the S5 Mini uh, is a little bit. Um, more uh, better there in terms of uh, speed and just on, on an alpha build as well. I definitely do believe that Apple needs to step it up a little bit more. So um, yeah, quickly a video here, uh, checking that out. So have an awesome day.